I'm Ted C. Jones, Chief Economist for Stewart Title. Today I want to talk to two different groups of people, those that rent multifamily properties and live in them, and those that are looking to invest in those type properties. There's a firm out of Dallas, Texas called Axiometrics, and they track statistics and trends and occupancies and rents across the country. They found out in the second quarter of this year that rent increased 2.4% and occupancy nationwide averaged 95%. Here's the top 10 occupancy markets in multifamily housing in the country. Minneapolis is 96.9% occupied. New York's 96.8. Oakland, California, 96.8. San Jose, California, 96.5. Miami, Florida, 96.3. Seattle, Washington, 96.2. Nashville, Tennessee, also 96.2, as is Portland, Oregon, San Diego. And then Sacramento, California is 96.1. So what does all this say? What it says to me, we're not building enough multifamily properties. In fact, the only market we've overbuilt happens to be Washington, D.C. Since we're not building enough, rent's going to continue to rise. So if you're looking at rents down the line and you want to become a homeowner, understand that you can lock in your monthly payments today for the next 30 years. Secondly, if you're an investor or a potential investor, great time to go out and purchase properties today while interest rates are still low. So how do you find a, a good rental in your market? B, a good investment property to purchase, or C, the first time home buyer moving out of those multifamily properties, call your local realtor. They know the local market. I'm Ted C. Jones, Chief Economist for Stewart Title.